Hey guys, Gerga here. I just want to show a quick tip on interiors. So I took a picture of my notebook about this like sliding component interior doodle. I came to the application and I just uh, drew around, uh, drew over it and I cleaned it up a little bit and make it a bit more proportional than what it is. And so the problem is with visualizing this kind of uh, abstract interior components is that you might end up getting a full car around it. If you prompt car interior dashboard design concept, for example, let's prompt that. So essentially you just described what you're creating, a car interior dashboard. So it can be quite distracting that it constructed a whole car around it and it tried to fill the surfaces with the usual car design, uh, with the usual production car stuff. But we just want to focus on our design theme that can maybe influence a production car later. So instead of prompting car interior dashboard, what we can do is interior component floating in air. So we have to be a bit more literal about what we want to create. Interior component floating in air. Because essentially that is the visual what, what we want to see. So in a lot of times with prompting you have to be quite literal of what you exactly want to see. Rather than describing the category of the object and such. So as you can see it's quite literal. It, it kept my lines as like cut lines or hard lines. So this means that we have to like decrease the influence a little bit to allow it a bit more freedom to be realistic on our lines. Yes, as you can see, it could figure out nicely our surfaces. So we could kind of validate this shape that it understands what we want to create. And now it's finally a floating component and we can ideate on the whole mood and vibe of the interior. So let's start specifying the color material, yellow and black plastic. Yellow and black plastic and let's create it. So as you can see, we could generate it some floating YB, very funky interior component design concept. And we can mix up the prompt as well. And let's specify some different, uh, different vibe of basically interior packages. Let's say olive fabric created another aluminum kind of floating component but I want it to be a bit more like dark green let's say okay we got a darker scene this time but still a separate interior design comp uh, component that we can ideate with and check the vibe and the materials and everything let's say something classic like we get a brown aluminum or we get a brown leather and aluminum as well now we generated a lot of uh, like cool floating components like design themes for for an actual interior design project that can be like inspired by these little design themes and scenes. So now let's validate it in an actual car. So let's put the drawing influence at 100% and instead of component floating in air we can we can finally say car interior concept and then let's see the prompts. You can check and copy the prompts. For example, I just copy this prompt. And what I need, I just delete. So car interior concept yellow and black plastic was it. Yeah, so this way you can create like normal car interiors inspired by this design theme. So like that, we can like construct a full car around it and just validate this little design team that we just did. Okay, so it nicely implemented this one as well. And so this is how you can visualize your little design theme with the help of this floating component, which is like purely representing the design language and the vibe of the interior that you're aiming for, but you can also visualize it in the context of a production car. 
So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions regarding this and I see you next time.